Hi, my name's Nigel and I'm one of the pilots that flies here with Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance Charity. First thing I do when I come in in the morning, apart from turning the lights on obviously, is I'm going to do a fuel check in the aircraft. Why do I do that? It's because I can check that the fuel is nice and clear and it hasn't got any water in it basically. Before I take the aircraft out, I'm going to do a quick walk around of it and close some of the cowling so they're out of the way so I don't need to worry about doing it outside um, and just give it a quick once over and a visual inspection of it. Just checking the fenestron to make sure there's not too much play in the blades. So on this side what I'm doing is actually looking inside this cowling here and checking the level of the uh, oil in the tail rotor gearbox. Good, that's the aircraft ready to go outside now, which will allow me to do the engine wash, which we do daily, uh, to check the compressor blades and make sure the engine works at its maximum efficiency. And then also allows me to do a check of all the systems on the aircraft. Delta Radio, good morning. Elementary start, ground run only. Uh, one on board, three in attendance. Okay, starting number one, engine first. It's an old date. As you'll imagine, front right seat, that's where I sit and do my business. In the back here, you'll see we've got two seats, forward facing and rear facing, and a stretcher. This is where either a doctor and a paramedic sit, or someone, a passenger can sit anyway in the back here. In the front left seat, the technical crew member sits. That's a technical crew member is a paramedic or a doctor who's been trained as a crewman as well. So they can assist me in the front with map reading, emergencies, using the radios, etc. This seat here is a very clever seat because it allows us to swivel it round if we need to. Now the reason we can swivel the seat round is to allow us to do the paramedics to do airway management for a patient in the back if necessary. We can either load through the side door here like this or in the rear doors. Hello, I'm Nicola. I'm a paramedic as part of the critical care team. This is the blood. We received this from the blood transfusion team at Southampton Hospital. And in here we've got uh, fresh frozen plasma and blood products. In here is our primary response bag. This is where we keep all of our immediate equipment that we need when we first approach a patient. This is our secondary response bag and in here is all of the extended skills that we use when we respond to patients who are critically injured. In here is the ventilator that's used when people receive a pre-hospital emergency anaesthetic. Let's go around to the back and I'll show you the other kit. Here is our Lucas device. This helps us to do hands-free CPR. This is our paediatric bag. As part of the critical care team, we also respond to children who are critically injured or unwell. This bag contains two syringe drivers. This is often used when taking patients a long way from hospital to hospital and advanced skills have been carried out. This is our spares bag. The ability for us to be able to restock whilst at hospital before returning to base is essential, meaning that we can go straight from one mission to another. This bag contains our vacuum splints for people who require assistance when they have broken a limb. So this is the equipment that the critical care team carry. As you can see, the equipment with the team, with the advanced skills, helps us to bring the hospital to the patient. Thanks very much for coming around and visiting us today. And more importantly, thanks very much for all your support throughout the year. Mm -hmm.